Hey there, it's Mark. So uh, once your live TV app has been downloaded on your Fire Stick, it will look down here. You'll see it here under recently used. It looks like a TV with a star. Just click on that. Give it a second to load. This is basically just updating the guide. Then it's going to come to a menu. Okay. Most of your stuff is going to be under the TV section. Okay. All your... Um, networks, um, all that kind of news channels, movie channels, they're all gonna be under here. Anywhere uh, you've got all your different channels here, global, different feeds, TLC, you get down farther, you get all your discovery and National Geographics into your movie channels. And each one of them will show you, you can see off to the right there at three o'clock's the Cleveland show, again at 3.30. If you want to see further details, if you follow the arrows, so on the right hand side it says TV Guide, if you click to the right, it shows you everything that's playing on that channel for the day. If you want to go back, you just follow the arrow to the left, where it says back, and come back. Any channel that you select, so if I want to watch what's on HBO2 or HBO, okay, I just click the OK button, and it plays. And then to make it big screen, I click the OK button again, and it makes a big screen. If I want to go back to the guide, I press the OK button and it brings it back to the guide. If you want to get into your sports section, again, follow the arrows where it says back there, click left. And now you're here, go down to sports. And here you'll find all your TSNs. Uh, you've got your sports nets, uh, ESPN. You get farther down. Some of the ones don't show you what's on the guide. Uh, I think, yeah, like these ones, you just have to kind of click on them. These are more the some of the European channels. When you get a little farther down, you get into all your NHL channels. These um, get loaded on as the games are playing. So if there's four games coming on tonight, NHL's one to four should be on there. So you just got to kind of click on the channel at just after the games have started and see which games on, was, on uh, which channel. You've got your UFC channel for all your uh, live fights on a Saturday night. NFL channels, NBA channels, and then uh, some more European channels, and you get down a little farther. We've got a UFC boxing. So the other night we were able to watch the UFC on the UFC channel and that YouTube boxing fight on here. Again, if you click the back channels, scroll farther down, you get all your 24-7 oldie shows, retro cartoons, stand-up comedy, some more movies. These are all just uh, shows and movies that play on a loop. Uh, there's no picking what show you're watching at the time. It's just whatever part of the uh, loop it's in. Uh, also, if you scroll to the left here, here's your video on demand section. I always just click the new releases just to see what's been downloaded. So a couple of things have been downloaded last week. He's normally don't downloads things every uh, couple days. Um, if you want to search, Make sure you're just searching in the all section. This is where you'll grab everything. You can see at the bottom there, there's 11,832 recordings. And then you just go and you pick whatever you wanna watch and click okay. So if I wanted to watch this, I click okay. There's multiple episodes. Scroll the one I want, click okay. Give it a second and it loads up like you just popped the DVD in. Here you can uh, pause, play, fast forward, all that kind of stuff. If you want to do a search, um, I don't know if these remotes have the mouse on it. I'm new to these Fire Stick remotes. Let's see if I can. Uh, no. The search is that little uh, blue find in the bottom left, uh, sorry, bottom right there, but I don't know, I'm not seeing a, some sort of a mouse on here to select it, because normally if you select and just hit the mouse on the screen, it'll bring up the little blue dot to click on. Uh, so I will figure that out and uh, see how it is that you can select that, because um, that makes it a lot easier when you can search for the movies, because like I said, there's almost 12,000 titles in here. Um, that's it for now. If you have any questions, let me know and I will help you out.